Hi there, hello there. It's me, Zell, and welcome to the channel, Channel of Gazelle, where I do reaction content to a lot of Star Wars, some Marvel, and other miscellaneous things that I just feel interested in. So thanks for being here. Today, we're gonna be watching Andor. We're on episode five, The Axe Forgets. Very Gimli-like thing, kind of. But, um, we're gonna, I would assume, perhaps, finally infiltrate the garrison with Cassian and his newfound companions doing this bank heist, whether it's getting money or the ledger of people who get money or whatnot, but they're gonna break into an Imperial garrison and take something and try to skedaddle away without getting uh, caught or chased or killed. All that jazz. And I think that's the main highlight. There's other things going on, but if you're here, you've probably seen it and you know what's going on. So anyways, without further ado, let's get on to watch Andor episode five, The Axe Rockets. Here he is. I feel bad for him. I know he's scummy, but look at that face. Sarah. <gasps> the fruit! You're slouching. Is that that fruit from Rebels? Is that how you've been presenting yourself to the world? Blue milk. Being a leader isn't something one just turns on and off. You might as well wear a sign that says, I promise to disappoint you. Oh, great. That kind of mother. Shame we couldn't have seen more of each other when you were flourishing. What is it you'll be asking for? Someone who'll take you on, Cyril. Setting the bar high, are we? Uncle Harlow will know what. We've been down here for months and the stakes are high. I don't blame them. I'll be fine. Uh-huh. He's just some random to them. Who, who's this? Yeah, I saw your eyes go right to it. Crate Trooper? Head. Crate? See, they don't know. It's a great head. What about this? By the hand, you'd sent her. Oh, they were Three both. years, I was 13 when I went in. Were you here? Revenge. Revenge. Yeah, that's good Do you see his know. back? Are those lashings? You? I grew in liking that character just from that interaction. I appreciated that. Oh, great. Here he comes. Mm, what's he going to say? Something wonderful, I imagine. Driver's here. Oh, Cloris. Yes. Even his tone. Where is she? Leader? Cute. Just that came down. Oh, that's their daughter. Doing something for the ride. What? We need to be going. Get your coat. It's not up for discussion. Are you serious? Am I serious? Schedule. She's feeling waiting. neglected, huh? Going. You're only doing it to show off. What? what you think show mom off? shows off and not dad? You're involved somehow. That's just... Nobody I cares. She's you can relax. Busy. That's just so heartful. He is liking this. Not cool. I so appreciate the support. It's a growing list of things we've known and forgotten. Things they've pushed us to forget. Things like freedom. Emic sees oppression everywhere. <laughs> He's writing a manifesto. Did he tell you? Apparently the only thing keeping us from liberty is a Please few more ideas. Please don't kill him. Few more ideas. They're gonna kill him. I mean, it's so confusing, isn't it? So much both systems based on truth, both navigating to a clear and achievable outcomes. Basic facts expanding. Lim. <laughs> he was just on his soapbox. <laughs> Busy day, Clem. Finish your milk. Finish your milk? What a little turd. <laughs> You don't know how to get it out of there. How do you input the weight? You sure it's on the rail? Yes. It's mounted. It's ready to go. That's how they keep it. You're sure of that? Yes, we're sure. Okay. There's Please? a load clutch. It's a big, ugly handle just right next to the booster throttle. There's a gate just below to read out the What weight. were you going to do if I wasn't here? Might have been ugly, but we'd have figured it out. We wanted to. We be can sure. say it's your idea. I don't care, but if it's my ass on the line, I'm pulling this thing out of there. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I don't blame him. He's like, listen, my life's involved too. At least I know a bit more about this machine. More. Don't touch me. 
If you want something, you tell. He's got a he's got a bit of a temper. Ready to adapt. And last man in. Bolt no the women ball soldiers. Him. Squad. What are they doing? Never mind about them. You should switch. What? He's left-handed. Should swap sides. Skin is left-handed. You want your weapon on the outside. What am I? Right-handed. Taramin. Right. Center. Right. Nemec. Favors right, but mm. shoots left. Wow. Observational. Uh oh. Uh oh. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Put those guns away. Cover the guns. That's uncomfortable. What's going on? Was that him being a butthole? Or a threat? It's always inspiring, isn't it? Wonder what made him defect. Hey, what are you doing? I'm just moving your stuff. <laughs> Don't. It was in the way. Don't ever. Oh, is it that he's protective of? That's, that's his insurance. Have a look at you? I'm saying if you are. I don't know what I'm doing. About any of it. Yes, you do. You're onto something. At least he's supportive. Kessel, targeting consoles from Jakku, proton warheads from Base K, Jakku. and Steer Guard Star Path. This is how I'd do it. I'd spread it out. Never climb the same fence twice. It's too random to be random. At least she's not feeling alone in it. Two more files each. I don't know why I'm rooting for them too, even though Imperial. She took headache pills. Lieutenant Gorn. What's an Imperial Lieutenant doing? Getting him Thank you. Like That's what I was just want I was wondering. You fell in love with a local woman, lost a promotion. Ah. Then he lost the woman. Then he lost his taste for the Empire. Everyone has their own rebellion. Love. Don't move. Because you know what'll happen. Hey, what are you doing? I knew it. I knew you were lying. I knew it. What does Look, a necklace what mean? Kyber. Sky Kyber. He won't say why he's here, where he's from. He doesn't say what he believes in. And now this? Who brings a treasure to a robbery? We don't have time for this. I need to know who I'm riding with. You know exactly who I am. Let's not go too far, Clem. I just want what's mine. Yeah, don't put me on the spot. Enough! Move. Put the weapon away. Give him the stone. You can kill each other later. You'd be I'm... right where I am. Tell yourself whatever you want. I think we're okay. It's heading towards the garrison. I'm they being both... paid. You oh. need to know? That's it. You can't live with that? I'm not worth it? I'll walk away and wish you luck. But that's what it is. You went out of this. Make a choice. Don't use me as an excuse. Ooh. Ooh, here we go back to the senator. Whoa, pretty. Ugh, the tension. Didn't think you'd be interested. Why is that? It's charitable. Oh. <laughs> Cloris. Sir. Do you mind taking the expressway? I can't bear to be next to her. Get home quick. He has a mushroom lamp. And a little figurine toy. Oh, oh no. Here we go. He's trying to find a purpose for himself. He was a farmer. Imperial Prefect came in, took his land, flooded it. You couldn't fight him. Just flooded it? He couldn't bear it, so he... Went a boat and filled his pockets with stones. That's as close to an apology as you're gonna get. It's closing off. Hey, that looked like a companion cube on the sh on the shelf behind him. Almost. I thought you were turning it off. The thief, Andor. I wasn't careful. You wanted this to happen. It'll all be over this time tomorrow. Or will he just be starting? It'll be over because they succeed, or it'll just be the beginning if they fail. Yikes! This is pretty.
probably, honestly, one of my favorite episodes so far. Um, obviously, the third had a lot of action, but I liked so much of those, again, these small conversational moments giving us context for the characters. And again, I love especially seeing the the villains or whatever, or the Imperial side of it. People are complex. People's upbringing, their nurturing, their nature, everything that happens to them sets them up to who they are and kind of gets you seeing a perspective of the ex-corporate employee, whose name I'm spacing, has a mm, not supportive mother, supportive but not supportive in the way that she's always doubting him, talking down to him, being, saying you're always a disappointment and oh, you're not going to own up to anything of value and uh, you gotta get your uncle to get you a job now. It, it's just, wow, talk about rub it in over and over and over again. And by the acts, by the looks of how he's acting and him being, shoulders hung over you know he's he's had to deal with this his whole life so we see at the end for him having to deal with all of that and he was like i was trying to do something on my own i want to make my worth not somebody give it to me because they think i have done so he sees andor as that out for him essentially which that was one of my theories and it looks like it's coming to fruition was that He's gonna have his own manhunt to get Cassian, to get answers, so that he can prove to his mother, to his uncle, to all his haters, <laughs> that he was right. That this guy killed those corporate officers in cold blood and he's gonna get revenge and he's gonna get respect he deserves. That's what, in his mind what's what he wants to happen. And I feel for him, you know, honestly, this man's just doing his job. He's in that position and he wants, he's like, so we're just gonna let people just get away with murdering us and walk away. Um, he's obviously a little bit fixated and again, very aspirational and it's biting him in the butt. He's not going the way of the system, but he, you know, he's, what do you call it? Lawful, lawful good, maybe, I don't know, law for neutral. He just wants to do things and he wants to get justice right at any means so that's his story then we have mon mothma and her family obviously on one hand and especially the previous episode we saw that not great relationship that her and her husband had he wasn't super supportive of her her goals and ambitions and her position which is to help people and do what's right for the greater good of folks you know at least our understanding of that and he's all about supporting like the counters to her ideals and wanting to have parties and being bored of doing things right but then we saw this episode by the behavior of her daughter and then the unsupport of her husband obviously there's clearly been she's been it, it comes off as she's been so fixated on her goals that she's neglected her family she hasn't spent she hasn't been attentive enough to her daughter enough to feel like she's important so she acts out right and now she feels like she's just being used as a trophy or whatever and her husband same thing in a similar similar fashion is feeling neglected of not being part of all of her goals or maybe you know it's beyond just the monetary maybe part of it is he's like you're using our money and you're doing another charity or whatever maybe but i think you know obviously a part of it is that neglect he felt and maybe he's acting out ultimately it seems they have a disagreement or different ideals that's causing some hardship seems like they have a really struggling family dynamic probably leading up to that you know at least the way it's portrayed in media divorce the daughter is like probably through with it and probably will go with dad and that sort of thing even though the mom is probably has a better I guess just more compassionate or giving um person uh personality and her, her her father, you know, her wanting to spend time with her father is probably showing that they have a better relationship, but it also could be to spite his mom. I don't know. But that was the basic gist we got with that, was that it's not just him being a unsupportive, differing ideal husband. It's that she's also so into her goals in wanting to help other people that she's not being there and supporting and, and helping her family. 
So, and then finally, obviously we have the crew, the garrison crew going for the payroll, right? This episode did really good again of these small moments which each with each of the characters lieutenant gorn in the base seeing his role his clear position of power and leadership and playing that role and making sure all these steps are in place to make him seem obviously that he's still you know supportive of the Im imperial beliefs that he still wants people to do their best by making sure things are in tip-top shape but having some leniency, but making it seem like it's their choice, right? And not him being saying, oh, you can go, like you're here to distract you. Nope, they asked and he, all right, fine. It's once every 10 years, like they said. And we have Skeen, Skeen who lost his, I love that we got to hear that story about his brother. Already they had a connection from a similar upbringing, which I believe they were suggesting in slavery or somehow obviously being captured in prison to fight or do things against their will. Um, and maybe it was being part of the military, right? Um, but ultimately it doesn't seem like it was their choice, right? Losing his brother because everything that his brother had, especially when they're like century old trees, it took centuries and it's been around for that long, just completely flooded, which that sounds like for no reason, just to be a butthole to this person. Maybe they were flooding it because they wanted to use that space regardless something he spent his lifetime working on this farm trees that take that long to grow he's like it's over like sure i could farm something else that's quicker but that was what he wanted to do and so he lost his purpose and in the end lost his life and then we have obviously tem tell tellman um has obviously really strong leadership as well a little bit less inclined to want to follow, you know, not wanting to be given suggestions, even though he's right and Cassian's understandably correct in calling out or making suggestions. Obviously his tone and his tension does not feel super inviting or like gung-ho I'm on your team, but he's doing it in a more like, just matter of fact, it's logistics. I know my stuff. Let me fly this out. You guys clearly don't know what you're talking about. Let me do this. I just want to survive. I want to do my job and get out. I need to get paid and get out my next thing. And we got sweet little Nemec who has this whole thing is his to fight back against the empire and you know, the camaraderie of the people and to take back what's theirs and to fight for the freedom. You know, I really respect that. And he's very positive and hopeful and sweet and, uh, innocent in that way that and brilliant brilliant mind i love i love um ev everything he was saying which makes me very nervous about losing all of them but him especially i feel like those are always the characters that kill off they're like haha -ha, that's what you get for being hopeful and positive bye um cinta obviously being very skilled but also like cautious she's very tough Cassian was almost getting some softness from her by saying you're a good healer. The lieutenant comes, steps in. And again, I was getting that subtle vibes and hinting that they're saying that they were in a relationship because they're like sharing a blanket and that they're always together. And then her interrupting me and like, you can dress yourself, like maybe a little jealousy there. I don't know, maybe I'm reading into it. You know, she see she's young, but she didn't seem like that much younger than her. So um, yeah, just a side note, just an observation. And then obviously, the the leader the lieutenant there's a lot of names to keep track of so i'll just go by titles she's uh very much i think she does really good in that role she's trying to keep it together she's trying to stick to the mission no takesy backsies we're gonna stick it out we have this plan trust ourselves trust our gut trust our our prep we put into it so they're going with it and she's trying her best to keep people in line and to follow directions. And people ultimately seem they have that respect for her. The fact that Skeen was sharing that because of her request to have, again, build camaraderie because they're going to have to watch each other's back in this very risky endeavor. So all that to say, um, they do a really good job of making you care about these characters that we really only met previous episode fairly quickly. And now I carry deeply enough that I want all of them to walk out of this okay and to know more about them even. So the pacing of the show does a really good job of, while it has been a slow burn, I think it feels more that way, especially because it feels different than the typical Star Wars we're used to. 
and we might go into expecting a little action in every episode. But instead, they're actually taking a different step by giving us these subtleties, these underlining, this character building, seeing their reactions in different situations and understanding their little nuances and their personalities and stuff. So I'm really enjoying that. Um, and then understandably so, Luthen being concerned and worried about this whole thing failing and blowing up in his face. But let's face it, everyone's gonna be nervous, freaked out. Big risks are being done, taken. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm guessing we're gonna see this play out in next episode. I'm very interested in seeing this big old celebration eye moment they're talking about. I still can't picture didn't quite understand the description they were giving it. And maybe that's partly up in the air for that reason. But I wanna see what that is about. And then obviously the whole heist thing. Gonna be super tense and nervous because the show does a really good job of building in the tension. Um, and you have Agro Cassian there, but you trust his skills because his while he may be angry, he is smart and that his, honestly, his personality is great to step into that role of an Imperial soldier. Cause he's like, I can walk the walk, I can talk the talk. I'm confident. He's he's kind of a, I wouldn't say arrogant, maybe in a subtle way, not quite in the arrogant cocky way that Han Solo was, but he has a different, he's just very confident. And he's like, I know this stuff and I'm gonna get it done, it's my job. And eventually we obviously know it leads to it's his aspiration or goal to conquer for the rebellion, right? So really good show. Every episode, I find myself a bit more invested. This this episode, just in particular, made me more invested because I love I loved all those interactions. As painful as some of those were, like the mother and her son talk, and the fi the family with Mon Mothma and her husband and child and daughter, and uh, it's just good. It's a good. It, I'm excited. Um, so yeah, thanks for um, watching and joining in on this reaction and commentary. I hope you enjoyed. If you made it this far, hello. Thanks for being here. Um, if you want to further support um, the channel and this uh, content, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and a like. I appreciate it. That helps a lot. If you want to further support the channel, subscribe. That way you can be notified too, making sure the bell is on so that you will know next when the videos go live as uh, we're not perfect and sometimes the schedule is a little wonky. So don't forget to do that. And also if you wanna see some live content that's a slightly different than reactions all the time, I stream on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Zell, that's X-E-L-L-L-E. -L -L -E. And I do a lot of gaming content. I just do chatting. I do some wacky weirdo musical shenanigans, so. That's the place for that, if you want to be, do that. If you want to further talk with community, we have a Discord, all that jazz. Check out all the socials and stuff all around below. You know, things are happening. But uh, yeah, if you want to support the editor of this channel, um, my friend and editor and mod on my Twitch, um, Son of Sons, or his YouTube channel, Kredik, K-E-R-D-I-K, he does some commentary, uh, kind of reaction, but he not really reaction. Commentary, just very comedic, kind of dark humor sometimes. Um, a lot of Star Wars material, um, very, uh, very funny and edgy sometimes. So check it out if you want to support his stuff and if you want more Star Wars um, goodness. But uh, yeah, either way, I think I've rambled on enough in this episode, but uh, all the socials, all the things. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys are doing great. And I will see you on the next one.